Good morning everybody. How is everybody? Happy New Year. Yes, welcome to the garden. Myself. I've got Daisy there. Daisy, what are you doing? Yeah, I've got Daisy here. Yeah. Did you have a lovely Christmas lovely festive time? Oh, did I? Did I? No, I didn't. Did I? Come down with the dreaded C word, the whole family. Let me just get in here. I'll just fasten this up. This is the first time for ages since I've been up. So the whole family went downward. You know how it's weird, you, you, you've been running scared from it for about two years there now, and then the daughter got it, and my wife's a, a kind of nurse or works in the NHS. So that was isolated in the bedroom, all the medical stuff outside and everything like that. She was in there for seven days, and on her seventh day, come out, it was Christmas day, Christmas Day morning, I come down with in, in our bedroom for seven days, man. Oh, just unreal, honestly, unreal. To be honest, the first three days, first three days, right? Didn't need a bloody thing. Oh, can you see there? It's no bloody sun. Didn't need a thing. The pain knocked us for six, the headache. Come on, man. And then I got better then the sun got it and now the wife's the wife's got two days isolation and that's it out but what a, hmm. so i haven't been up so and i was funny enough i don't know if it was like delirium or anything i've been throwing all these two bloody cauliflowers because i knew they were coming look at that man they're not bad eh? you see through size yeah oh, it's all right there's the odd little one coming i don't know if they're I don't want them to run to like seed and I don't want them, I don't want to lose them as well. So, a big thank you to Steve. Steve's been, Steve, Steve's been emailing us more than texting. My mother's been texting us. How am I doing? So, a big thank you to Steve looking after us there. I've got little certain things planned in the, in the new year as well. But I wanted to just come up and just, it's, it's so good, mind you, in winter when you can just leave it. If this had been the height of summer, the place would have been riddled with weeds and everything, but you can see it's all, I haven't got the energy man yet at the minute, because I'm gonna need to build something for there and there. So they're just throwing over a net. Do I do something like that? Do you know they stop the pigeons coming? But then Brussels just lying there. So I haven't, I've still got three, I've still got three bloody tearies left. I didn't even get the chance to, there's a one there in me, what you call a chicory. Man, but it seems all right. Daisy, come on, out of there. Out of there, I know I need, in the coming weeks, actually I need to just cut all that charred back, see if I can get a decent crop. I'll be cutting me brambles right back and putting some good, good stuff on there as well, hopefully. See what's in, in the polytunnel. So what have you been up to? Have you, <laughs> who's caught it? I just kind of get up, like I see, honestly, to catch it. Like, it's just bizarre to see, like I say, run, run from it. Like, our whole company, like an office block, and I'm the only one there on my shift, and we're all this, and then eventually you get it. So I've still got them bloody beetroot in. That garlic's looking all right, the inside one. Look at that. Nothing. It's dying off. There's a little bit there dying off. I'm honestly thinking this is like a more damper atmosphere and it's, it's fine on that side. So there's enough there anyway from, for the inside to play around with. Or when I was up doing, you know when I did my knife and full, um, torch video, first cut, when I went home to use my knife to cut up cardboard boxes for recycling, I nearly cut my bloody thumb up. <laughs> but I noticed up here, these were like tomatoes. I was just thinking of keeping, but look at all the little mouse droppings. Can you see them? So they've had all the seeds, <laughs> they're all gone. So a little mouse has been there, probably a few. Just look at, remember I cut that with the knife. I haven't, like I say, I haven't been back. I did that video before, obviously Christmas day when I kind of came down. I did three tests on Christmas Day, you know, and it was only the third one that that line, two lines came. Oh, what? I just honestly couldn't get over that. I get migraines and I get, on a scale of one to 10, 
probably a three like that. This thing was kind of pushing eight and nine. Oh, bloody hell. So I know I've got some good compost in there. Or, you know, you certainly usable. I've got a bit of the wood chip there. And this is the, the bed that's kind of ready for just leaving now. I'm going to still, I think, still put some more stuff in there. I've got anything more to go. I need to start picking the Brussels sprouts. I haven't picked one Brussels sprout this year. This is getting on now. This is a good year rule, probably this. But it'll do. That's Cavell Nero. Like I say, these are. I'm not worried about them lopping over. It'll apparently the. I was telling you, Charlie Dowden says they're great when they do that. So, but it's weird how. Look at how odd Brussels are just like peas all the way. And then you get some other kind of giants. Look at the bloody ones, these things in there. I definitely think them ones over there, mind you, are, are much better. So, I'm all right, I'm back, I'm back. It's nice to get out, to be honest, to get some fresh air. Daisy, and shout at the dog. First night, mind you. <laughs> like I say, I was on my own for seven days in this bloody bedroom. The first day, Daisy came and stayed with us. And thank God, cause she was a water bottle. She jumped on the bed, I was like, oh, come on, come on. And it was, oh, 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 Honestly, I thought, like, because, and my wife mentioned a good thing, mind you, she says, you've never, ha I've ne I never have had flu, so, I, obviously, I've had a cold, and I'm a man, and I'm kind of useless with it, but I had a, obviously, never had flu, so this is as close as, I <laughs> didn't like it, didn't like it one bit, so, yeah, with well, things, things are back to normal, just straightening up there, what did I get, what did I get for Christmas then, on this? Got a new jacket, it's a barber, got a barber jacket, do you know what I mean? Have you noticed I've had a, have you noticed I've had a shave there as well? I took it all off, I'm gonna just keep it this length, you know, we have to, I've left the Santa Claus on vacation, look. So yes, I got a barber jacket, and I didn't realise, barber is only about three miles actually shop, well, make them. It's only about three miles up the road, and Shields, Jarrah, should I say, and we've got a big discount shop, so I got, was it 30 or 40 percent off this jacket? And I also got, which was, and I'll open it up, you know what I mean? I'll do like a thing, but it's a, it's a Bosch pump system for, with battery. So you have like a submersible pump and you put it in. Have you anyone seen it? You put them in like a, a tub like this and then you can water. And I've got it for the front garden, which I think will be great because I'm dragging like, you know, the, the Bin's good, but it lasts not that long. But I'm dragging hose pipes constantly, so it'd be nice just to. And I think it'll make us water them plants a little more. What else did I get for Christmas? I'm trying to think, oh, as a family, well, for me and my son, we got the virtual. You know how I'm a, a baby of the science fiction. I got, we got a. It's called an Oculus Quest 2, it's like a virtual reality thing, so I've been in uh, be <laughs> playing games in another world. So yes, there's things to do in the garden. I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna rage on this year, do you know what I mean? I know I see Steve's planting onion seeds and getting all things, and I'm not gonna go down the route of booting up. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna have a sit down for five minutes. I'm not gonna have a a season of booting up the, the propagators and anything like that just yet. I'm not even going to do peppers or chilies. I've still got that big chilli from last year in a pot and that's looking okay to be honest. So because I did, I started in November and I think it was the, was it the November month or the one of the months? It was 600 and odd quid the bloody fuel bill. You know what I mean? I was just like nah. So I don't think I'm going to do peppers this year. Might pick up a couple, but I'm even with like shop ones, you know, grafted and all that. I kind of get them red. They're just like green, and I'm, you know what I mean. It's, for all that work, you get a dozen peppers. So I'm going to stick. I think my plan is to stick with the 
Brad's Atomic Grape, and if hello, lass. Hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? You got your jacket on, eh? Got your jacket on, your, your barber jacket as well. That's, that's, that's probably another reason why I got a barber jacket. You know what I mean? Black and black there. We're, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? The gent. I went from, like you say, the Santa Claus look to the gent look. <gasps> Don't do it, bad bitch. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, boy, yeah. So, I'm hoping I can get the Bellarico grafted tomatoes and the Brad's Atomic. I've got some seeds, I don't know if they'll work or not, but I certainly kept some seeds this this year. And the Silly Chili, I've got one Silly Chili, which I'm hoping I'll bring on. It looks all right in the house, there's buds and everything like that, so that should do for that. And like I say, if I can sow me tomato seeds round about when, round about March the 24th, something like that, maybe, maybe a touch earlier. I mean, the, the hut is just, it's unworkable at the moment, that's why there's been no live shows as well, because it's just like the hut's just, <laughs> can you see that? <laughs> what is that? So, it'll just be tomatoes, I'm going to do propagate away. I'm not going for anything silly, I'm just taking me time this time, taking me time. Right, I think that's it. Anyways, I hope you have a blast in 2022. Look after yourselves. If you've had it, if you've caught it, if you're catching it, hang in there. <laughs> I got through it and it's kind of... My double, double, you know, jabbed, twice jabbed, and then the booster about three weeks before. You know, I got it around about the beginning of December. I was at the peak of like taking this this thing on and it just floored us man <laughs> look after yourselves take good care